What's up YouTube? We're out here at Sandusky Bay again. Uh, have just me and Caleb and Penny. And we just got out here a little bit ago and we had a nice catfish already and uh, ended up breaking it off trying to get it into the boat. But we're out here and we just had to reposition and get the boat set up in a better way. We're actually having some uh, difficulty keeping ourselves pointed in the right direction. So we got another anchor out and we're ready to fish. Got a bobber on and two poles out the back and we're just waiting. Kind of hopeful because we actually had a nice catfish. The first one we caught was good. He was probably 12, 15 pounds, so. You're not? We may not fit under there, buddy. We may have to go down the other way. Let's just see. Penny, come here. Penny, come here. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty low, bud. That's probably too close. We should uh, we should have went down the other way. We made it. Okay. You want to try right here? Okay. Hold on. I think we need to move over here out of the way, out of the current just a little bit. Ooh, Bob are going under a little bit. Son. Now you may need an Epilus, right? I think I will. I don't know, buddy. Kind of wants to stay down like a catfish, but. Yep, that's what it is, bud. Big catfish. Can you get him in there? Good job. Did you get him? Yeah, that was a good cast. Yeah. All right, guys, there's a I'm nice, probably five pounder, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know. See you, buddy. So that one came on the bobber. That worked, didn't it? Do you think the bobber's the ticket today? Again, we're using that circle hook. My battery went dead when that train went by. And my bobber went down literally seconds later. The GoPro curse is real. This is 
got like a skinned up place on his chin here. Oh, shoot, I dropped him, buddy. It scared me a little bit too. Yeah, I think I so anyhow, another nice little chat, cat, channel cat. Yeah, my boots, so on. See you, buddy. Here comes another train, bud. Maybe this one will wave at you. Today. I think this is Maybe this is the train bite. Maybe the fish bite good when the trains come by. Go wave at him. He honked at you. Can you believe he blew his horn at you? Caleb, there goes the bobber. Oh yeah, the train bite is on. Caleb, get this one, I got a double. You got one too? Yep. Well, do you think Penny will reel one in? Oh, yours got off. Here, you want to reel that other one in? Okay. This is a feisty one. Nice. This would be a good eating size. If you guys like to eat them, these three, four pounders, oh, they're good. Yeah, it might be a good spot. He's still on. No, this is the other pole. I was telling you to reel in. Nope, it's a catfish. Look how pretty he is, Caleb. Yeah. Do I give him a kiss? No. For good luck? Hey, What sort of snacks did mommy pack you? I know what, what's in there? Did you look? So I was just thinking that maybe the bottom fishing wasn't as good. And I caught one on the bottom. So we'll we'll wait here a little bit and see. And then if but if we keep just getting our bait eaten off, we'll put another bobber on because they seem to be hitting the bobber pretty decent. You want a bobber on yours, Caleb? Oh, what do we got here? 
on the jigging spoon. The sheep head. Be quiet, but listen, you can hear him grunting. I don't hear him. Hey. What? I want to play this in football. I want to catch those um, bass now. Well, if you guys watch the knot I'm doing, you can go on YouTube and find any of these tutorials. And these are just called, uh, this is called the Palomar knot. And it's super simple. It's not even, maybe one of the simplest knots and it's generally one of the most strong, so. If you guys watched uh, one of my other videos, we were here um, right at the end of June. And we actually fished for a couple days and I'll be honest with you, it was 10 times better than this. Like you couldn't keep your pole out 10 times better than this. Um, we were here <clears throat> two nights ago on the other side of this bridge and we did okay. I mean, we caught some right at dusk but nothing like we did when we were here at the end of June so if you're looking for a time frame if you're going to drive up here and uh, try this and and try to get some of these catfish for yourself probably the best time I would say is between uh, mid-May and late June but obviously we're still catching some this is some decent catfish and just not quite what it was a couple weeks ago. Oh, Caleb, you're getting one. You're getting one. Get him, bud. Get him. Get him, son. Uh, is it? A, is he on there? Is it a big one? Yeah. All right. I don't like this guy. Then what is in this thing? I don't know, dude. It might be a shark. I don't know. Oh, be careful. Do you think you're going to need the net? Yep. For sure? Yep. Okay. Hey, is he tangled up in the, in the anchor back there? He might be in the anchor, buddy. Here, let me see. Oh, he's around the anchor. Dag on it. Now, what is it. It's a nice catfish, dude. Here, hold your pole. Just hold on. Just hold on. See, I think I'm gonna have to cut it. Okay. That's okay, I'll tie your hook back on. Dude, look at that. He's <clears throat> I hear him squeaking. I hear him squeaking. You wanna give him a kiss? No. No? He's pretty though, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, let's get him back. Feels like your bait's gone. Oh, got him. This, my friend, is. No. That is a. 
Nope, that is a white perch. They look a whole lot like a white bass, though. Oh. Guys, that was a good catch. Guys, wait, let's use him for bait. No, let's just throw him back. Picture. Let's see. Hold him up. Nice. Alright guys, well Caleb just caught a giant. I have no idea if it's on camera and it pretty much shredded my thumb so much that I had to get the first aid kit out and throw a band-aid on it. Um, but I don't think it was on camera, so yay GoPro. Um I have no idea why these things lock up like that. I mean, I guess they're just little electronic devices and it happens from time to time, but why does it always happen at the worst time? Caleb, do you know why it always happens at the worst time? Ow. Me neither, buddy. So I think I'm just gonna jig this jigging spoon while I'm waiting just for something to do. Can you guys hear that? That's how much vibration this jigging spoon puts off. It is a good one. I don't know what the brand name is. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description to Bob's Outdoor Supply. Um, it's a place in Newark, Ohio, and I'm about 99% sure that he doesn't have a Facebook presence or any sort of website so it would have to be something you drove in and got but if you ask him about these jigging spoons he would tell you where they're at and how to get them and um, I don't know if other places sell them or not never seen them anywhere else but they have the most vibration of any jigging spoon I've ever used they're awesome through the ice too I use them through the ice for uh, saw guy and things like that and they work fantastic. And I've caught quite a few fish here today using it. Just sheephead and white bass, white perch, things like that, but something to do while you're waiting on the catfish. And I really think maybe we should make another move, but we're, we're actually catching a few fish here and we're not gonna stay too much longer. So I think we're just gonna ride it out here for a little bit. There he is. These fish look to get real, real strong right here at the boat. Real nice eating size catfish. Nice. You want kissing, Caleb? Yeah. Oh, there he is. A sheep head. You did? Yeah, you could. I don't know where he's going. Those sheep head will eat absolutely anything. There's another one, Caleb, something. It's another sheep head.
Do you want to jig this jig and spoon a little bit? Oh, we're getting a bite. Caleb, look, our bobber went under. Oh, that's the wrong pole. I got too many poles on deck. <clears throat> I think your bobber's still up, buddy. And this fish wants to swim over here, and I'm just going to let him swim over here so we don't get tangled up in the anchor. Don't do it, buddy. It's a big catfish. Ah! Oh, he's too big to get my hands around. Man, that's a nice catfish. He's real pushing five pounds, I'd say. Four and a half. I don't know. You gonna wave at that train? We're getting a train bite. Oh, son. Kiss, Caleb. Yeah. Caleb, your bobber. Your bobber, you better get him. Yeah. Hold on, just wait. Just wait. I'm trying to get the GoPro set up. Oh, you come on. Nope, he is done. Oh, he is so we had run out of bait, the bait we've had thawed for a couple days, and I decided to um, check that out and see if we could maybe, uh, hold on buddy, hold on, let me get this other pole out of here. I was, went ahead and opened the other bait, and it seemed like as soon as we opened the other bait, just hold on buddy, that's a big one, we'll have to get him netted. It seems like as soon as I opened the other bait, and started fishing, we started catching more fish. Battery change, fish, double. I was actually getting that camera back there set up so you guys get a little better look at the bobber. Here, Caleb, let me see yours. Both of these are pretty good fish, I think. Dad, I can reel yours in for you. You can? Man, these are just nice fat. Oh, no. Just hold on, Caleb. I'll get him. All right. Easy five pounds. Hey. Hey. Guy, mm, uh, a little bit, maybe. And this is a decent fish here. I think so, buddy. Let's see what it is. 
anyhow, I was trying to say earlier that I have changed to a fresh bag of bait and it seems to have made a huge difference. Caleb, we might need the net, buddy. I think this is a big one. Where is it? That's a big one, though. Want to get him netted? You got to get it in. You got to put him in the net, bud. We almost don't have enough net for this guy. Here. Oh my gosh. So this dude is getting real close to that 10, 12 pound mark. Thick. I gotta let him go. Dude, we're gonna get bites. For some reason, we've been getting bites when these trains go by. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's a real thing or not, but it just seems to work that way, I guess. We'll see, because there's a train coming. And Caleb keeps waving at him, trying to get him to honk at him, and most of them have. He really appreciates that. Caleb, 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 you're getting a bite. Your bobber just went under. Get him, son. Crank down on him. Oh, yeah. Fish on, baby. What's this bite? It's the train, and I got one, too. No, we have the same fish. Let's hold on, buddy. I'll get him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going to need the net. Nah, we'll just pick him up. Maybe we should have used the net. He broke your line. Yeah. Did he swallow your hook, buddy? See a hook, he must have swallowed it. No, it's right there. Hey, that was an airplane bite. That fish came when the airplane came over. So this is a real heavy, old-fashioned uh, musky pole, I think is what it is. I bought this as a combo at a yard sale or something like that. Pretty cheap, but it, man, it's got a bait clicker and it makes an awesome catfish pole. Oh man, this sucker's strong. Oh, Caleb, I'm gonna need the net, bud. You wanna get the net? Bud, you got to dip it down in there and get him. You got to dip it down in there and get him. There you go. Now lift it up. Good job. Lift it up. 
That's better. Yeah. Man. Another really nice one. Penny's probably ready to go home. You ready to go home, Penny? Yes. She said yes. Did you guys hear that? I got it on camera. Or was that Caleb? No, not me. It wasn't you, it was Penny said that? Dude, that's crazy. The sheepster. Might as well catch these because the catfish bite has just about died. There's another one. There might be a school of them down there, I don't know. Caleb, your bobber's going under. I think. Maybe it did. I, you're, you may be right. You guys hear that? All right, see ya. Have any of you guys ever eaten freshwater drum or sheephead? Let me know how you do that. I mean, they're they're related to the red drum. I've caught those and, and ate those. They're they're good to eat. So I can't imagine. I think they're related or the, or in the same family. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Might have to just try one one day just to see if, how it tastes. the one you didn't see coming. Whew, scared me. Did it scare you? Are right, you ready to go fast? I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of All Fish Matter. Summer's winding down here. The kids are all back in school. That was uh, that was there right at the beginning of August that we uh, caught those catfish. Me and Caleb had a blast out there. So hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and tell your friends we surpassed 100 viewers. Like to have 100,000 by this time next year. But 
Anyway, all fish matter.